before I barely felt a thing. Please, allow me to show you something. Hey, welcome back to the Strini World. I'm Keisha, and if you want to see how I got salon results at home using the Nude Girl Sugar Waxing Kit, then continue watching. If you're not new to the channel, you know I've been speaking about trying the Nude Girl Organics Sugar Waxing Kit, and I was finally able to try it, and it could not have been a better time since it was for my birthday and your girl was in a hot mess. I received the Bare Essential Sugaring Wax Kit from Nude Girl Organic, and I cannot wait to try it. Now, the kit is set to come with everything needed for a simple and easy DIY sugaring experience and it includes free sugaring drying powder, a rose water soothing essence, a reusable applicator, reusable wax strips, a tweezer as a free gift and of course the sugaring wax. Now seeing that it's supposed to be perfect for beginners, I like that the steps and instructions are on all the products and they also included a QR code which links to their website along with instructions, tips and demo videos. So I cannot wait to try it because all the reviews I've seen so far is positive so <laughs> looking forward to trying this. To try the kit I waxed my legs, underarms, um, bikini area and I also attempted a Brazilian but we'll get into that. <laughs> Before the review just a little about the product so the kit I received was the Bare Essentials Sugar Waxing Kit. Now this is the kit that contains everything you need as a beginner uh, for sugar waxing at home and the sugar wax which is the main star of the show is actually the sugar wax which is the star of the show is made of all natural ingredients it's water soluble and it's suitable for sensitive skin and literally when you look at the ingredients it has three ingredients water sugar and lemon well it says citrus but i think it's lemon so it at the end of the day, day <laughs> At the end of the day, it has three ingredients, water, citrus, and sugar. So, can't get any more natural than that. Anyway, how I'll do the video, I'll show you guys how I use the product, etc. Um, waxing. And then I'll come back and so give you some tips, well, based on my experience, and then my overall thoughts and review. So, let's get into that period of me waxing so i am about to begin the waxing as mentioned i'll be using the nude girl bare essentials sugar and wax kit this is basically the kit this is what comes inside so the bare essentials kit it comes with the soothing essence as well as the pre-sugaring powder wax strips and a tweezer the reusable applicator and then the sugar and wax the basic kit does not come with these two items and there are less um, wax strips in the um, basic kit so but you get basic so this is this is what the basic kit would look like let's get to sugar in. the instructions are on the sugar and wax however there's also the QR code that you could scan so it basically takes you to you can go to the links to their website the price list as well as like demo and instructions and stuff so anything that you want if you want to get in contact see videos check out the instagram like you can just scan the qr code and it takes you to that i just got out of the shower but i'm still gonna use some dove wipes because it's very hot and i'm pretty sure i started to sweat already so i'm gonna use some dove baby wipes to just wipe off any oil or anything then we go in with the powder and then we wax it you know you could barely see any hair on my leg because and this is i did not shave or anything since april so i have a length but it's very thin let this air dry a bit in the meantime i'll go through the instructions that are on the sugar and wax so hair must be at least 0.4 inches long i think um usually they describe it as the length of a rice grain cleanse the area ensure skin is clean and free from dirt sweat oils and lotions so that's why i did the extra wipe because i'm pretty sure i did sweat lightly dust the skin with powder after cleansing to absorb moisture from the skin if necessary reheat and microwave for five to ten seconds do not overheat 
I didn't even check to see if I needed to heat it, but it's so hot right now, I feel like I should be safe. Using the applicator, mold wax in the opposite direction of hair growth three times. Remove hair by holding the skin taut and pull swiftly in the direction of hair growth using strip. Apply a soothing gel or lotion when finished. And then they say repeat in four to six weeks. Something else with this, if you make a mess, it is um, water soluble. So if you get it on your sheets <laughs> or whatever you're using on your towel, you can wash it off. Um, as well as the strips and stuff are reusable. So I think this is about dry. So now we're going in with the pre-sugar and drying powder. Oh, there is the safety seal. I don't want to go in with too much. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> It's like I'm not wax strips. So this kit comes with 12 reusable wax strips. The basic kit only comes with six. So my wax strip. This may need to reheat, but I'll chill, I'll chill. I was looking at the direction of my hair growth and it actually is growing like diagonally this way. So I'm going to apply it this way. Now I think I may need to warm this up. It's a bit tough, but let's see. It's all looking like too much. So. We are applying in the opposite direction of hair growth. For me, that's this way at least three times. I'm doing it some more because my hair is being naughty. Okay, so that's applied. I'll put on my wax strip going in the same direction that I applied it. Oh my gosh. Here comes the scary part. Okay, hold skin taut. Oh my gosh. One, two, three. Okay. 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 I was being ridiculous. I barely felt a thing. No. I did feel at least one hair pull and I know it could be probably because the hair is a bit longer than it should be so if the hair is too long it will hurt a bit so looks nice it looks nice and now that that is over it's time to apply the rose water soothing essence and this has the protector and I'm just gonna press some in my hands. I guess you could apply it with cotton. I'm not too sure. Actually, let's read the directions. Let's um see what the direction said. Gently massage your freshly sugared skin with this rose water soothing essence to reduce inflammation and redness. Ooh, for best results, refrigerate before you so I'm going to put this in the fridge. For my underarms, it should be refrigerated. What I'm just adding to this step or this process i'm just gonna add a oil and this is the avery i guess the passion what the passion flower and berries body oil and you all this scent smells so good i did not think to restock on this when i was in trinidad but the scent is good the citrus oh is also yummy anyway so just a few drops and let us rub that in and look how beautiful beautiful we looking so i'm gonna do my next leg now i don't think i could really do a comparison to show one leg 
because it's not that drastic. This one actually has a little more hair. We're going in with the same process. A nice little wipe. Now I'm about to wax my underarms and this time I warm the wax in the microwave for about 10 seconds. I try just leaving it out because of how hot it is but that didn't really work. So I did warm it up and I'm about to start with my left underarm and again I was sweating. <laughs> Definitely was sweating because some time has passed since I took a shower. Okay, leave that to dry a bit. Or maybe I could speed up the process. Where can I put this wax strip so I don't need to put on my arm one already? Yeah, so <laughs> I put in this wax strip here so I don't need to like put down my arm when I'm ready to get the wax strip, right? Oh, powder again, I'm excited. So, Going in with the powder. It's so hot and my arm's still feeling wet. Right. So something that I learned is that the hair under your arm grows in different directions. But possibly three different directions. But I don't know if I really need you all of that right now. I know this going basically down, so I'm gonna do this part going up. All right. So this time I said I did warm up the wax a bit, so it's a little more pliable, I guess. I don't want it too much. Alrighty. So, piece this going upward at least three. To oh lord. I think from oh my gosh, I think here from the other area catching like I needed to part this. <laughs> Start from the bottom. And get that on. I'm holding the skin taut by myself. This is the best I could do. <laughs> right. So we for oh not bad not bad at all oh shit i see in blood i see in blood so the not nice part so this is my legs we have some things going on here i i'm seeing some blood all right let's go again and that could be because the hair is a little too long so that's kind of like my fault because as i mentioned like the longer your hair is the more painful it could be so i'm going to try to take off everything in this one. Oh, i need a little more oh i want to avoid having to put my hand down i'm gonna try to get this hair facing up Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, laddie, laddie, lad. Okay. Okay, guys. Trying to hold your skin taut. And, oh lord. Okay, three, four. Oh my gosh. So it could be because of the hair length. That was a lot of hair. I'm just missing a few. I'm gonna put more wax, just using the wax that's already on the strip. To get any that I'm missing. Long time not taking touch on them. Let us get that soothing essence. And this time I did 
put it in the fridge to chill. The fact that it's cold, I think, is perfect right now. Should I trim the other side? Although I did get that blood, like it wasn't super duper painful. We not get, we clear. <laughs> All right, time for the next side. So, because of that disaster, I'm going to try to trim this side a bit. Because that wasn't nice at all. Hope it's not too short now. Now, cleaning the area from so wetty sweats. Going in with the powder. I want this strip where I could easily reach it. Opposite direction of hair growth. Yeah, we're going this way. Try to hold the skin taut. Kind of difficult. Whew. One, two, three. In. Less blood than before. Am I going in the right direction? That looks like the direction my hair is growing. Let's finish up this. Don't think about it. One, two, three. I thought about it. Let's um. I have finished waxing for today and what I'm going to do now is just because it's reusable wax strips you just need some warm water and you can wash all the wax and the hair from off of the strips nude girl recommend using a bowl of warm water however I don't have any bowls that I feel comfortable like <laughs> all the bowls I have are for eating and cooking so <laughs> I'll be using the sink. Yeah, so underarms clear. So I did my legs and my underarms. For my legs, I ended up using one, two, three, four, five. For my legs, I ended up using five strips just because of the way that I did it. And then for my underarms, I used one strip per underarm. So the basic kit, it might, it, it, will, it will fulfill your needs if you use it sparingly, like for your, your legs and your underarm. However, if you want to tackle like other areas in the same section, you may not have enough wax strips for like everywhere, right? And you'll then see on some occasions, I reused the wax strip either by folding it in half or um, using the full length of the strip again, anyway. Let's get the water on. That's a filling thing. And dump in the wax strips. And the applicator is reusable too, so we just wash off the extra. And the applicator is basically clean. I guess I'll leave it to soak for a while. So you can get involved and rub it off, but I'll leave it to soak a little longer and see what that does for me. Look, this one then I guess it didn't have much on it, it's already basically soaked off. As good as new, put it to dry and we can reuse it. And honestly, you really do even have to do the hard work. You could just leave it soaking for a while. And yeah, like it just soaks off on its own. It's not drama. It's very easy to wash the clothes. It's another day and I am going to attempt my bikini area and maybe the, a Brazilian. So I using the wax strips that I washed. So basically this is how it looks when it's washed. You can tell it's a little used. It doesn't look as fresh as the new ones, but it really doesn't matter. It does the same thing. So yes let's see how this goes I'll, I'll report back that was basically how the experience went the only thing i have to update you guys on is the brazilian um so yo that was a process 
now i i've wanted to attempt my brazilian for some time now and people were like no don't do it you shouldn't do it especially because i never had a brazilian before and last year was the first time i went to have a brazilian and it was also like a sugar wax and let's just say i did not complete it um but i got you know a good enough portion done but i said you know i'll still attempt it for myself so this time yeah i took four hours and i did not complete it because you know the only like there's like a small section i didn't complete them pegs you know mm -mm. i tried i made it a little way but then i was like mm -mm. I can't do this anymore i probably need to do it in another session or like the next time i do it maybe it will be less painful because the hair wouldn't be as thick and etc so anyway um normally for the brazilian they do it like if you go to a professional they'll do it really quickly so they'll do one two three four maybe five pulls six pulls i'm not too sure when you're doing it yourself because of the pain and the fact that you have to case up yourself like prep yourself <laughs> once you do the like, so if you do a bigger area right once you start to do the pull if you don't do the entire thing it's gonna start to get painful so if you do it in smaller sections you'll be able to tolerate it a bit more and not mess up yourself in that so if this is the area so if i do this full area and i pull from the time i reach here i might stick and I still have some wax lower down that I'm afraid to pull that I'll still have to do in another section. So you do one area, do a quick pull, next area, do a quick pull, and that might make it a bit more bearable, but I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, not, for, it's not for everybody. <laughs> like doing it yourself, like, mm. But anyway, other than that, it was a okay process so anyway um so outside of the brazilian some tips based on my experience for sure so for one ensure your hair is not too long so for as you all saw for my first on the arm there was a bit of blood and that could have been because of the pull um you just want to like you know pull it off but if there's that extra length of hair it's gonna i don't know how to describe it but it's just gonna take longer to pull and it will be more painful. Um, so ensure the hair isn't too long. Um, the recommended length is um, one quarter of an inch, which is like a right, the length of a rice grain for reference. The next tip is to, um, well, based on, well, from what I noticed, definitely warm up the wax if you find it's not moving. If it's a little stiff because when i did my legs i noticed that i used a lot more wax than when i warmed it up for my underarms so one it helps you to use a little less wax because of how chunky it comes up when it's not as warm and then two um it just glides on a lot easier and it's not gonna pull your hair because it's so tacky uh another tip is take your time and don't overthink it because if you overthink it and you think it's going to be painful you may not do the pull as you should and that will make it that is what will make it painful so don't overthink it it's easy right and of course be sure to follow the instructions um even if you're custom waxing it may not be the same technique or procedure it may be but you know still follow the instructions to ensure that you have a smooth waxing experience um those were the tips and now for my overall thoughts and review so overall i really enjoyed using the kit it was pretty easy um uh i love i think i kind of mentioned it before but after using it i still feel the same way i really like that all the instructions were on the product and if you know you don't want to just get into it from reading the instructions you prefer like visual aids uh, your visual learner there are also the um there's also the product demos um and instructions or further instructions do's and don'ts that you can get from the nude gal organic website 
and it's also easily accessible because there's a QR code on the box that you can easily access with the products like everything is there for you it is now going on to week three and I'm now starting to see some little hair growing back under my arm and I would definitely say it's growing back thinner so the next time I do it I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be as painful and I'll probably I will not do it in a separate video but I might include it in a vlog um, of me doing like a three week four week maybe four weeks because this is week three so maybe next week so of four of the four week updates how the hair is looking and the process of waxing again to see how simple it is um also for the takeaway from my video y'all y'all saw make sure your hair is not too long <laughs> if you are interested in trying the nude gal organic sugar wax the kit that i received is the bare essentials kit that is exclusively available on their website for 185 tt but currently they're having a 15 percent off anniversary sale so the kit is approximately 160 it's a little less but i just like to round off so it's approximately 160 so that's almost 25 dollars off i think that's a good deal because that's almost the price for shipping so it worked out anyway and not just that but you they have 15 percent of their entire website so any of the products that you like to get there is 15 percent off so the bare essentials kit they also have the basic kit the sugar wax itself as well as some of the other products that they have 15 percent off on their website and i think it's until the 14th of august um so that's on sunday so you still have a few more days to cop it um but yes and well if you miss it you can always find their products outside of the bare essential skits you can also find their products at pennywise jd supercenter and belarus in trinidad for tobago you can find it in novo cosmetics as well as tobago waterfront pharmacy so they have you covered in trinidad and tobago as well as the website and of course 15 percent off only available on the website up until the 14th of august anyway i hope you guys really enjoyed the video let me know what you think have you ever tried sugar waxing at home what was the experience matter of fact no well yes but additional to that have you ever tried doing your own brazilian how did it work out for you did you complete it tell me because for me like i will try it again to see because the hair should be thinner and not as long and we'll see but whew, we'll see we'll see when i do the second time how i feel but anyway again i would like to thank new gal for sending me the product to review um i really appreciate it i do appreciate that i was considered i hope you guys enjoy the video let me know what you think and until next time We have made it to Positano. Cafe and this is the strawberry. Are you ready to dig in? I want to see you dig in, so you actually. Crazy to see like the underground, how many things, like that's all under the city. We are heading home because we're limos, we're very tired, our legs. <laughs>